Hello, welcome to your practice today. This class is Freshly Squeezed Orange and we're going to be twisting and wringing out the body, getting really juicy, building those twists in progression to really help to nourish the body, support the digestive system and get rid of anything stagnant that's lurking in the body. So come and join me in a comfortable seat if you haven't already done so and find a tall spine. Now, when we're twisting, it's really important that we do so with a lengthened spine. We want to let there be space between the vertebrae so that we can then start to really twist the spine in a healthy way. So root the sitting bones down to the earth, draw your navel in towards your spine and lift up through the top of the head. Close down the eyes, soften the shoulders and breathe. Take a couple of moments just to arrive into the space that you've created for yourself today on your mat. And bring the hands to the heart. Let's choose an intention for our practice today, a quality that we'd like to uplift as we make our way around the mat, connecting to a breath that supports this in being more than just a physical practice. And the work that we do here on the mat is the foundation that allows us to show up more fully when we step beyond the mat and navigate whatever else it is that is ahead of us. And how we show up on the mat is a mirror for how we show up in the world. So what is it that you would like to set as your intention today? Let's interlace the fingers. Draw the palms away from one another. Drop your chin down to your chest and let your head hang down. Resting your hands very gently on the back of your neck. Bringing just a little bit of weight from the hands into the back of the neck, bringing a little stretch. And just breathe into any sensation that arises. Good, as you inhale, begin to lift your chin and broaden your elbows. And exhale, rounding down. You can tuck the tailbone slightly, make this kind of more a full spinal movement rather than just the head and the neck. Inhale, coming up and exhale. This is one of my favorite ways to start mobilizing through the spine. It's a little bit like a cat-cow. Good. Now, next time you come up, we're gonna take a little twist. So root the sitting bones down and start to rotate the right elbow back and the left elbow forwards. Keep the left sitting bone grounded, so you're just moving through the upper back, and then come back to center. Take a breath in, and exhale over to the other side. Good, and we'll just move from side to side, so inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. And exhale to the left. One more on each side, inhale. Exhale, inhaling and exhaling. Come to the center now, place the left hand to the outside of the right knee and right hand comes to the base of the spine. Look over your right shoulder. Keep drawing your navel in, rooting the sitting bones down. Your chin is drawing in towards the throat so you've got a nice straight spine. Good, breathe and then come back to the center. Left hand behind your back. Look over your left shoulder this time. Coming back to the center, roll your shoulders down the back of your body. 
Take your hands back behind you, lift up through the chest and release your feet onto the floor. And we're just gonna windscreen wipe the knees from side to side, keeping the chest lifted so you're not kind of collapsing through the front of the shoulders. Nice. And then scoot your hips back, cross the ankles and bring yourself onto all fours. Good. Place the left hand a little bit uh, closer to the center and start to reach your right arm up. And then exhale, sweep the hand underneath, find the back of the shoulder on the floor, right ear comes down. So stretching through the back of the shoulder, you can keep the legs as they are or extend the left leg away. And breathe. So bringing this rotation into the upper back. And then press down through that left hand. Right hand comes to the middle of the mat, left hand reaches up. And we take the left hand through. Good, palm faces up, left cheek to the floor. Breathe. And if there's sensation in the back of the shoulder, send the breath there. coming back to the center. Let's tuck the toes now and lift up and back to downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths. Good, the knees can be soft as you lift and extend up through the sitting bones. And then walk your feet just a step closer to your hands. You're going to push down through the right hand, energize through the right arm, and reach your left hand across to your right foot. Maybe if the foot isn't in reach, you can take hold of the ankle or the calf instead. Look under that right shoulder. Try not to lock out the right elbow, so really lift up out of the joints. And then place the left hand down. Let's take it over to the other side. Good, keep the hips lifting up in space. And then right hand releases to the floor. Take a step back, find your down dog. Take an inhale, ripple all the way forwards and bend the knees, take it all the way back. Two more waves like that, inhale and exhale. And last one. This time we're gonna ripple all the way forwards and then drop the heels to the left. Send your left hip to your left heel as you push back. So you ripple forwards and then drop the heels to the right. Send your right hip to your right heel. Good. Now you can continue with both hands on the floor. Or as you drop the heels to the left, you could sweep that right arm back and around. And as you drop the heels to the right, it's the left hand that comes along the mat Good, let's take two more on each side. So inhale to come forwards and exhale back. Inhale forwards, exhale back. Last one. Nice, now as you place the left hand onto the floor, bend your elbows, lower your knees, bring your body to the ground. Point your toes back, cobra pose, lengthen through the spine, and exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Take an inhale and raise your right leg high. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Raising the leg up, inhale. Take that right knee to the left upper arm, and then raise the leg high. Step the foot between the palms, we'll come up to a high lunge. So inhale, reaching the arms alongside your ears. And exhale, twist, right arm back, left arm forwards. Take the gaze over your left shoulder. Good, inhale, come back to center. And we go again, exhale. So really stabilize through the lower body, using the breath to open up through the shoulders. 
Good. Now wrap the right hand behind your back and lift your left arm up. And drop the gaze down over that right shoulder. Good. Stability through the lower body. Place the left hand down onto the floor. Reach your right arm skywards. Twist. Adjust the feet if you need to. And then place the right hand down to the floor. Step back. Vinyasa. Inhale to up dog. And exhale, down dog. Left leg rises, inhale. Exhale, let's bring the knee to the nose, really hug up through the navel. Then raise the leg high. And exhale, take the knee across the body to the right upper arm. Leg lifts, inhale. Step the foot between the palms, high lunge. Now it helps if there's space widthways between the feet, rise up. And exhale, left arm back, right arm forwards. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Sweep the left hand behind your back, reach your right arm up and over, drawing the right hip forwards. And then place the right hip down to the floor, right hand to the floor rather, left hand to the sky. Extend through the back leg. Breathe. Take an inhale. Left hand comes down to the floor. Step back. Vinyasa. Inhale to up dog. And exhale, down dog. Now you can stay here for a couple of breaths. We'll take the knees to the floor. And child's pose. Breathe. Connecting to your breath. And remembering that the breath is a foundation, so we always take cue from the breath. If we become disconnected from it, or we find it hard to catch the breath, then we scale things back to a place where we can be in connection with that breath. Gently coming forwards onto all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. And let's ripple forwards. Hips to the left, sweep the hand down the mat. Left hip to left heel, reaching around. Take it to the other side as you exhale, right hip to right heel. Place the hand back to the floor. Good, one more on each side. And then take an inhale. Place the left hand down, vinyasa. Inhale to up dog and exhale, down dog. Raise the right leg up, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, leg high. Take it across the body, find the left upper arm, hold it here. Now drop the left heel to the floor and peel your left hand high if you can. You can always drop this right knee to the ground. You're in your side plank, good. You might choose to extend the leg, or you can bend the knee, your choice. If the leg is extended, flex the foot. See if you can lift the heel another inch, and then place the left hand down, bring that right knee into your chest, and step the foot between the palms. Raise the arms up over your head. Twist right arm back, left arm forwards. Sweep the right hand behind your back, lift the left arm up and over. Left hand comes down onto the ground, right arm reaches high. Twist. Good. Now take the gaze forward, reach the left hand in front of you and shift the weight to the right foot, coming into a twisted half moon. Paravita Ardha Chandrasana. Now you might find that you want to put a block underneath that left hand. That's okay. That's a really good option here. Let's take another breath in. Exhale, right hand comes down to the floor. Soften your right knee. Step the left foot back. Vinyasa. Inhale to up dog. And exhale, down dog. Good. Lift the left leg up. Inhale. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. 
Inhale, leg lifts. And then cross the body, find the right upper arm, drop that back heel. Good, raise the right hand. You can keep the knee into the chest or extend the leg out. How is your breath here? Good, if the foot is extended, lift it a little higher. Take another inhale in. Place the right hand down, knee to chest, send it high. Look forwards, coming up to your high lunge. Step the left foot between the palms and reach up. Left arm back, right arm forwards, twist, and then sweep that left hand behind your back as you reach the right arm up and over. Good, take your gaze forward. Start to reach the right hand to the floor and twist the left hand to the sky. Good, breathe. Look down at your left foot. Reach the right hand to touch forwards as you shift your weight and raise the right leg away from the earth. The gaze can come up to that left hand. Nice, now from here, place the left hand down onto the floor and step the right foot to the top of the mat. Lengthen the spine, come up onto your fingertips and exhale, fold forwards. Rise up to standing, inhale the arms high and exhale, hands to heart. Take a breath. How connected are you to your breath here? How are you showing up in your practice? Is it in alignment with the intention that you set at the beginning of your practice? Let's bring the feet hip width apart. If they're not already, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Take hold of your big toes with your two peace fingers. Lengthen your spine. And then exhale, elbows wide as you shift your weight forward into the front of the feet. All right, from here, press down into the right foot and bring your right hand onto your hip. Shift the weight to the right foot and slowly start to extend that left leg forwards. If you need to bend the knee, that's an option. Breathe. Let's raise the right arm up alongside the right ear and then take the right hand to the outside edge of that left foot. Good, spine is long. We're gonna reach the left arm up and take it all the way back into a twist. Good, if it feels wobbly, it's okay, I'm wobbling too. Nice. Breathe. I'm gonna take that left hand onto the inside of the foot. And you're gonna bring the knee into your chest slide the left hand onto the outside of the foot. The knee comes down towards the floor and you hug that left foot in towards your glute with both hands behind you. Nice. And then release the foot, bring the knee back into your chest. Turn it outwards and place the outside of your left foot onto your right thigh, bring your hands to the heart. Send your hips back like you're sitting into a chair. And you can reach the arms up alongside your ears if you want a little bit more challenge. Good, breathe. Nice, press into the right foot. Bring your left knee into your chest, place it down to the floor and hinge forwards at the hips. We're gonna take hold of the big toes, look up halfway and exhale, fold. Every time that you exhale, can you feel a sense of softening forwards? A little bit more space opening up in the body. And then bring the left hand onto your left hip. 
Shift your weight to your left foot. Start to lift the heel and lift the gaze forwards. Bend the knee if you need to. Right shoulder softens down the back of the body. And then left arm reaches up. We're going to reach forwards. Take hold of the outside of the right foot if you can. Bend the knee if you need to. And then reach the right arm up and back. Opening up through the chest. If it's wobbly, find your balance. Breathe. If you have to hold your breath, it's not worth it. Good. Bring that right hand back around. Take hold of the top of the foot and send the knee down. Good. Holding it back behind you, opening up through the front of the right thigh. Send your hips down and forwards. And then releasing the foot, place the outside of the right foot onto the left thigh and your hips back in space. Hands to center. Good, lifting your chest. Nice, let's press down through that left leg. Bring the right knee into your chest. Reach your arms up. And then send the right leg back. We're going to land the ball of the right foot to the back of the mat and turn to the long edge of the mat. Good. From here, extend the arms out, hug up through the thighs, and start to fold forwards. Now, when the torso comes to parallel, we're going to take the left hand across and take hold of the outside of the right foot. You can turn your gaze up towards that right hand. Maybe wrap the right hand behind your back. And then coming back through the center, sweep all the way around, turn it to the other direction. So right hand comes across to the outside of the left foot. The spine stays long. So really using the length of the spine to facilitate the rotation. Maybe you wrap the right hand around, but keep that left shoulder blade drawing down the back of the rib cage. And then letting that go and just come down through the center. Come up onto your fingertips, look up halfway. And exhale, just fold forwards here. If your head reaches the floor and you want to take a tripod headstand, that's an option for some. If that doesn't work in your body right now, just be here in this forward fold without needing it to be anything else. Good, let's turn over the left leg. Bend your left knee, place your right knee onto the floor, and then slide that left knee back so you can sit onto your heels coming into a child's pose. And then bring your hands up onto your thighs. Lift your hips away from your heels. We're going to have a little play with something, just moving gently from side to side. I want to make sure that you're maintaining that length in your spine. So the hips come down to the heels. Your right hand comes to the floor. You're on your fingertips. You're going to lift your hips away from your heels, drawing long through the lower back and reach your left arm up. And then drawing a big circle around, coming to the other side. And we'll do that a couple of times. If it's too much, you could come into a regular camel pose. You could also come down onto the back and take bridge pose. We're going to do one more on each side. Good, and then come back through the center. 
place both hands either side of you. Just take a moment, sit the hips between the heels, breathe. If you're on the back of the body taking bridge, you can take another breath there and then gently lower yourself down onto your back and breathe there. Maybe feet bent, knees knocking towards one another. Nice, let's cross the ankles. If you're not already on your back, come and meet me there. And we'll take a spinal twist. So shift your hips to the right. Wrap your right leg maybe once, maybe tucking the ankle underneath and then letting the knees drop over to the left. Now, if this is too intense, then you can place something underneath the knees. You don't have to go too deep just because it's an option. Observing how the breath moves through the body here. Anchoring the awareness onto the breath or onto sensations that you can feel here. And then coming back to the center. Let's release, shuffle your hips to the left. Left leg over the right leg, maybe tucking the foot behind. Opening up through the left side. Take one more breath. And then coming back through the center. If there's anything else you feel like you'd like to take here, then please feel free to move there in your own time. But when you're ready, we'll just bring the body onto the floor and take a few moments rest. Shavasana. All of that rinsing, juicing, that we've offered ourselves through practice. Let's give ourselves a moment to let it all percolate, settle. Maybe you can feel that buzzing, tingling sensation through the body. You can start to let that awareness go. Let go of any effort at all. And just find this rest. And when you're ready, bring movement back to the body first by deepening the breath and wiggling the fingers and toes. And you can stretch through the body and bring your knees into your chest. And have a little rock from side to side. Landing on one side and just pausing for a breath or two here. Before gently bringing yourself up to seated, lengthening the spine and just feeling that space, that energy, any shifts, 
have been initiated through your practice today. And as you bring your hands to touch at the heart, perhaps you choose to carry the same intention or you set a new intention to carry forwards with you as you step beyond the mat and into the rest of your day. Taking a deep breath in and a big sigh, let it go. Thank you so much for your practice today. If you enjoyed this practice and you'd like to see some more classes from me, then come and join me on The Practice. It's my online studio with hundreds of classes for you to choose from. I've popped a link to a free trial in the box below and I hope to see you there very soon.